Hello everybody and welcome to the second part of our matplotlib mini-series in Python 3. In the last video we showed how to do a very basic plot of x and y. Uh, we hard-coded the values in there and in this video I'd like to show you guys um, that you don't have to do that. How do you get around that? And then also we'll show some labels and then also an error that you might see and not understand what that means. So with that let's go ahead and get started. So plt.plot generally um, in your scripts, you're going to be plotting very like values uh, that you're assigning to variables that you're getting from some sort of source. So you might have um, you know a source online, a database, a CSV file, um, something like that, and then you're going to be pulling those and then putting them as a list into a variable. So you're usually going to have an x and a y, and then uh, x and y will equal something. And in our case, we're just going to say they equal a list. And now what we can do is just copy and paste uh, these values basically into our lists. So that was our x and our y. And then here you just plot x, y. And that's really all there is to it there. So then um, we can save and run that. And we get you know our graph that we saw before. So you know nothing's really changed. Um, so now what we can do though is if you paid attention in school you know that you have to include titles and labels to everything okay so this is a bad chart so how do we add titles and labels we have plt.title and this will add a title to the chart uh, we'll just call it epic chart and then we have plt.y label um, and then this we can just I don't know y axes <laughs> And then plt.x label, and we'll call this x axis. So we'll save and run that. <clears throat> and now we can see we've given our chart a nice title, y label, and an x label. Okay, let's close that, close this. Now, finally, the last thing I just want to show you guys is the x and y here. Uh, we're assuming that we've have, we have some sort of function that's, or a class or something that's come through and populated these values. Uh, again, we've hard coded it here, but normally you, you probably wouldn't. You'd have some something assigning values to these variables. So sometimes the following happens, and you get this error. Value error, x and y must have the same first dimension. Now the first time I saw this error, I had no idea what the heck that meant. X and y must have the same first, what? Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> you know? And so maybe like the first dimension is length? I don't, I have no idea. But anyway, you have that anytime you're plotting. Obviously we've got more x's than we have y's. So it goes to plot x and then it has no y to match. And so we get in a little bit of trouble here. So, um, so whenever you see that error, just know that that's what's happening. So usually what I, the next thing I'll do whenever something like that happens is either I'll look at the code and spot what, what has happened or you can always print len x and then basically copy, paste, print len y and then um, you could even do this, right? Let's add back our zero, save and run that and before we get to this error that says that we can see up here well we've got a five and a four we printed x first and we can see here that oh yeah x has five values y only has four so now we need to consult our code and figure out what we've done wrong um, so anyway that's a pretty common error at least that I see a lot um, in my own code so anyway um, so that's that that's that little error how to add labels and then also plot plot variables which uh, not not too uh, not too confusing. So, the next thing that I wanted to cover is uh, let's save and run this one more time. You know this chart. I mean, his epic chart as it is. Uh, it's a pretty boring looking chart. And so there's a couple of things that we can do. One, we can go through and we can customize everything ourselves, or we can um, uh, in the code rather you can customize everything, or we can use what are called styles. Um, which is kind of a new addition to matplotlib and we can use these styles to kind of store specific formats to charts um, that we want so anyway that's what we're going to be covering in the next uh, video is styles and so that'll help you make very quick decent looking charts and then you can further customize later on if you want uh, but anyway that's what we'll be talking about in the next video is styles if you guys have any questions or comments on this video feel free to leave them below as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support and subscriptions and until next time